Hey guys, Fishing with Tanner here. Um, this video I'm going to be redoing my kayak unboxing thingy. So, if you have seen this video and you don't want to watch it again, um, leave a like and you can go watch another video. But if you haven't and you want to watch this, leave a like and watch it. So yeah, whatever you do, just leave a like and watch it for like a minute or so to try and make this interesting and the reason i'm redoing it is because i move the camera a lot like that and i don't like it because i lose viewers attention and they just leave so let's make this one more interesting let's get into this all right guys this is the ascend 10 t um it is by Tracker Plastics, which Tracker is a brand of, Tracker is a brand of Bass Pro, um, we have a Tracker boat, and this kayak is basically like a different brand of Bass Pro, so it's basically made by Bass Pro, and yeah, it's like how Walmart has like Ozark Outdoors, but they're still the same brand basically, it's just a different label. So let's get into this. Start from the front, go to the back. Okay, so first off, sorry guys, I accidentally ended that. First off, we have a strong handle right here. My last kayak, you had to, I bought one like this, they're $10 each, because the other ones kept breaking, so I'm glad these came with it. Second, um, there's a storage area in the front. Strap downs right here. Rigid. So it won't cave in as easily. And water will keep off your stuff. So yeah. Um, let's go with the footrests for right now. Footrests are right here. Um, they're on this track. They just slide it. And then pops into place like that. Those are two. You get them even for your length of your legs. Or if you're like really tall, there's these. Which I guess you could just, I don't know. There's like those things also. Second, one of the things I really like on this kayak is this decking. It's like sea deck or something. It's basically not, it's basically like non slip foam. Foam, I mean. It has padding, it's easy to clean, and it makes the kayak look nicer, so yeah. Also, also, if you're in the summer and you like to take your feet off, your shoes off, while you're fishing in your kayak, this will not burn your feet. Because like that plastic, if it's really hot, it'll burn your feet like immediately. Okay, next is the scupper holes. These holes are if you there's like rain or melted snow or just water from the paddles dripping in or any of that the water will drain out of these but when you're fishing you don't always want those open so it came with six scupper plugs since it has six scupper holes and that just keeps the water from splashing in so you don't get wet especially in the cold it just pops right out so yeah um, let's go with this system right here. So, it has a track, three track systems. So, there's one, I'm thinking about mounting a fish finder right here. Um, then there's like this tray thing. I put my used lures in here. Um, in the future I'll probably put my pliers or lures that I want to use over here and lures that I have used over here because you don't want to get your you don't want to put wet lures back in your tackle box because that will just rust it up and all that stuff and you just want to do it properly and keep your equipment nice because that stuff is expensive okay so that track system I said there's three in the kayak there's one on the side, you can mount a rod holder, 
fish finder mount, um, anchor mount, but yeah, both sides, so over there, middle, and there. So I think we can move back a little bit. There is this dry hatch. A lot of kayaks um, don't have kayak dry hatch thingies like this. But a lot of the reviews say that they still get wet, which this one doesn't. It has a bag, so it keeps it extra good. It has a watertight seal. Yeah, just screws tight. My phone can barely fit in there. Um, iPhone 11 Pro barely fit in there, but it works. Okay, now we have a huge comfort board. Like, this thing is big. But yeah, that's where I keep the scupper plugs when I'm transporting them. Okay, let's move back a little more. There's these handles. These are strong. That's what we use to get it out of the truck. So yeah, um, two of those. And then, here, let me go around. Check that out. One person or 325 pounds. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of capacity. But yeah. So after that, we have the chair. I've always wanted one of these sit on top chairs instead of just sitting on hard plastic because hard plastic really hurts. See this? It's raised off three or four inches off the kayak. So if water is running in there, it doesn't drain out through the holes. You won't get your belt wet. And it gives you a lot of support since it is a frame seat right there. And it's cushioned, made of good fabric. So if you sweat, it'll not keep it trapped onto your back. Stuff like that. Folds right down. And then if you don't want anyone to steal it, just take it out like that. And what I do, and I'm waiting for my parents or someone to pick me up. I just sit on it like this. And it works because after after a full day of kayaking, you're really tired. And especially right after you haul the kayak up hills to get picked up, that's when you're really tired. So yeah, that I love this seat. And yeah, these seats are like a hundred bucks if you buy them separately. But yeah. Um then they just walk into these thingies right here. So yeah, and then these rod holders I didn't have on my last kayak. They're just like built in. I think they're flush mount rod holders. Go down and your rods slant backwards. Because um, in kayaks, if you don't know, the poles get caught in trees a lot. If it's straight up, you have a chance of breaking them even more. I've broken a, like two or three rods kayaking in trees. So yeah, that's good. Put my net in that one. Since I cast it that way, put my net in that one. Because the net is lower, I won't snag it as easily. I put like my really nice rod in there. And then I have a few rod holders on my kayak crate. And then the back, it's actually a pretty big area. You could probably fit a full-size milk crate and a little one too. And it has these thingies again rigid keep your stuff dry and i forgot the rod mounts rod holder thingies have rod leashes so you're so if you flip over or something your rods don't get lost or go bye bye okay we're almost done with like the kayak thing so we have the handle strong handle again then we have this drain plug drain the water out and it won't come out, which is good, so you don't lose it. So yeah, and this has a unique hole. I don't know how I need to see that. Probably get a better view for you. But yeah, next, we're, I think I'm gonna do some B-roll right now, so let's get into that.
right guys hope you like that b-roll um next up paddle paddle did not come with it so i had to buy this paddle um i didn't have to just decided to go with the sand paddle something really cool it has tail fin recovery look so if you lore recovery look sorry if you snag a lore in a tree you can put your line in there and slide it up to the lore yank it out of the tree but i noticed that weeds will get caught in this and normally when you go through weeds in a kayak instead of scooping the water you want to flip it over like that so you're not scooping up the weeds but that makes the recovery system go on the bottom but it's really not too bad it still scoops up weeds up and it has a measuring tape um in inches up to 40 inches and then the same hook on the other side this paddle is $80. This is the 140 size. Um, it really depends on how how wide your kayak is and how tall you are. Oh look, it also does centimeters too. One centimeter up to 101 centimeters. I didn't notice that. Yeah, it's like the tournament, come on. The tournament series, I guess, I don't know. Who knows? guys next up um if you aren't gonna always have two people with you you want to get a kayak cart i went with the ascend which is the brand of the kayak kayak was on sale for 460 yeah the paddle was 80 and so was the cart so yeah um there's two main types of carts this one like the you just set the kayak on top and strap it and there's another kind that I made for my other kayak and it actually goes through the scupper holes so right here and I've noticed that those ones aren't as strong and I wanted to try this kind out so I went with this one so far it's good I flipped over my kayak transporting it yesterday it would be two days ago when I upload this but I thought this thing was total because the way it looked, it looked like it bent really bad, but it wasn't. And before that, I was kind of worried because the wheels started looking like they were bending a bit. But after that flip, I'm I'm confident that this is strong and it's gonna last for me. So yeah, I went with this kind. One where you set the kayak on, it folds up and. Even if you have two people with you, it's just helpful because I'll, I'll show you how you, how I put it on after this clip and how how it works basically. So yeah, um, it's just helpful. You don't have to pick it up. And look, the wheels go on. It's hard with one hand. The wheels just come right off, and I've noticed the wheels float. So I usually put the wheels um, right behind my seat. Again, or I have to balance the weight of my kayak too. So it really depends where the crate ends up on either side. Come on. But yeah, there. There's two wheels. And then, geez, honestly, I never know the name of this thing. I think it goes that way. Oh no, it goes the other way. That just bends, and then this thing right here, oh it goes down, yeah. That bends, and then look, this thing is light too. This thing is probably, I wanna say two to three pounds, yeah. 
pretty light and strong that I've experienced. But yeah, and then I normally, I've been clipping this part right here onto a carabiner connected to my kayak cart. And it just hangs off the back like that. And I haven't had a problem with it yet. I've only gone out on this kayak three times, but so far it's good. So yeah. Um, I'll, let's get to the clip, how you do this, so see ya. The hole um, goes in, but yeah. So, um, see the pads are working over there, and yeah, I use I do it right about by the seat. I strap it on this one right here, or this one. It really doesn't matter. I'm gonna just drop it on that one and that one. Strap it go over the seat I usually go about right here or a little more on the seat and then strap the other side and go <laughs> here I'll show you this strap goes <laughs> that sound <laughs> okay go over stop recording so this hook under, hook it on there, and then get this hook, go to the other side, um, do it on the same spot, just to keep it good, make sure the thing doesn't tangle, come over here, have to set you down, here, get uh, right back to you guys. Guess that kind of works. You can just stitch in like a normal strap. You want to hold down. You want to pull through as much as you can. And then, dang it. Do that. It's hard to do with one hand. So you're going to redo it. But yeah. You don't want to strap this too tight either. But you want to put the cart more towards the back. Sorry, guys. Come on. You don't want to do it too tight because I've had the kayak like bend in. Because the walls in the kayak aren't that strong. And then you release it. But yeah. You just want to have it enough so it's secure to the cart. pretty much. And then this strap right here, you can either cut it shorter or just stitch it through like I do, or so it'll get caught in Mr. Wheel right there. And then, just like, 
make sure you get it on right. It's on right. And then it's really easy to pull. Way easier than doing it with two people. Because with two people, you're both carrying it. This one, you just have to get it up about arm's length or level length on the kayak. Just pull. And then just put down. If you put this more towards the front, you have to push the kayak down so the back doesn't fall. Which is kind of hard. So you just want to put it put the wheels like right under the seat and you'll be good. So I think that about does it for you guys. Um oh crap, did I scratch my lens? I think that about does it for you guys. Dang, I think I scratched my lens. But so the kayak was on sale for 460. The um paddle was 80 and the cart was 80. So yeah, it's over $500. It's a really nice kayak. Big upgrade for my last one. Yeah, so far I love it. Been out three times. It's way better. I love this storage in the front. So you don't always have to reach back there. And I love the rod holders. I love the dry box, the decking, and this little tray. And most of all, the seat. And yeah. Um, that does it. If you guys are still here, I want to thank you so much. Because I want this to be my future. I want to make money off of this. And yeah, so thank you so much if you're still watching. Wait, if you're still watching, comment, um, comment 10 pound bass in your comment and leave another comment. So if you guys are looking to buy one, I'd give this a, uh, for a fishing kayak, seven and a half out of 10. Since it's not, the walls cave in a little bit and the room, the thing under the seat kind of weak but overall it's built well they thought they thought it out when they were building it and designing it and it it goes way faster than my other kayak it goes pretty fast so yeah seven and a half maybe an eight out of ten i'll do a durability test uh paddling test all those tests in a short video so thank you guys for watching peace out hope you like the b-roll